Okay, so this is an introduction to setting up the shape OCO. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is insert your drawing tool, your pen or your pencil. And to do that, this Z axis needs to be relatively high to get your pen in underneath. So later in the video, you'll see how to jog the machine around and raise the Z axis. And the pen can go in from underneath and this 3D printed holder will flex. It will open and close to hold your size pen. If your pen is very small, there's a little bolt that you can insert into here that will tighten it up on the pen. Okay, the next thing that you would do is you would move the pen to zero, zero, zero. Now what's important to know on this machine is the Y axis is moving in this direction. And you see we have this label of Y and the X axis is moving from left to right. So we're going to jog the machine back to zero, zero, zero. And the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Universal G Code Center. And there's an icon for that on the desktop. And the second thing that you need to do is you need to connect to the shape OCO. So you have to open up port COM8. Select COM8 and you click on open. The next thing that you need to do is control the machine or jog the machine around. And you'll do that through machine control. And what you're going to see on the screen here is you're going to see X values, Y values, and Z. So positive Z raises it and negative Z lowers it. So you've opened up Universal G Code Sender, you've figured out how to jog the machine around, you've inserted your drawing tool. The next thing you want to do is put down your stock, or in this case your piece of paper. So it's important to know that 000 is located right here, and on the shape vocals board we've shown a 10 inch by 10 inch square and that's the maximum size that you can draw with. So I'm going to go ahead and secure down this paper. I'm going to keep the paper away from zero or I'm going to keep the tape away from zero 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 so I can place my pen tip down there. down and now the next thing that I need to do using Universal G Code Center is I need to move the pen to zero 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 so I'm going to go ahead and do that now That's happening here by jogging the machine around. Okay, so I've jogged the machine to zero, zero in the X and Y, and now I'm gonna manually lower the Z, turning this knob on the top to the left until the pen reaches the board. Now you also have quite a lot of flexibility here to move the pen up and down. So it's a combination of jogging it in the Z and lowering it down manually by hand. So once you have this at 0, 0, 0, X, Y, and Z, you would go over to Universal G Code Sender and you click on Reset Zero. So after you've jogged the machine to 0, 0, 0, you need to come over here in Universal G Code Center and you need to click on Reset Zero. Once you've clicked Reset Zero in Universal G Code Center, you want to raise the pen up five millimeters just to get it off of the drawing board. And you do that through Universal G Code Sender by entering the step size of five and clicking
working on plus for the z, so raising it in the positive z. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is load your file. So you're going to switch from ma machine control to file mode. And you're going to go to the upper right and you're going to click on browse. And you're going to find your file. And you're going to click on open. And after that you would hit send. Okay, let's watch it draw. So I've placed down two sheets of paper to give it a little bit more thickness. So if you're using thin sheets of paper, it's best to stack up a few of them. It'll keep the pen drawings. If the paper is too thin, sometimes it has a tendency to stop drawing. You can use card stocks or experiment with different types of paper. things worth mentioning. There's going to be two shape opals that you can draw with. And what you need to pay attention to is the label on the front of the shape opal. So this is labeled here as COM8. The other shape opal will be labeled differently. So you want to look at the front of the shape opal, look at what it says there. This says COM8. And then you want to make sure that you're connected to COM8 on the screen. By choosing COM8, clicking on open. Now, now there will be times where Universal G Code Sender cannot connect to the machine. So what you want to do in that case is close Universal G Code Sender and you want to unplug the USB from the front of the computer. Replug the USB in. Go ahead and reopen Universal G Code Sender. Select the COM that's noted on the front of the shape OCO click on open. Okay, that's it for the shape local introduction.